Hey everybody, so welcome back to Mod Dragon Fable. Last time, we finished the entirety of the Save and Limcrest storyline all in one video, which is pretty cool. So this time, we're in Osprey Cove, and we're going to be doing the Water Read the Persons quest. After Save Limcrest, you begin adventuring across the Kingdom of Greenguard, eventually finding your way to the tropical land of Chernuff. Your first stop is the Pirate Town of Osprey Cove, where you meet first mate Rhubarb. Rhubarb has a job for you, to plunder a very expensive shipment of water breathing potions. So for this video we're going to be doing the water breathing potions and the Pirate Rising Ninja's War. There's a reason for this later. So let's go back and back again. <laughs> go to Rhubarb and talk to him. So Avast, there's much to be done. If we both finish off those ninjas. Ah, we just made the haul of a lifetime. One of our teams recovered a ship called the Anna Maria Barbarigli, which was shipped to load of, load of water breathing potions to Salt Haven. Once we sell a lot of those water breathing potions, we'll be all be rich. But the ship was overrun with ninjas before it reached harbour. The ship was anchored just outside the curve right now. The ninjas are looking for a person, but we hid them along amongst the gunpowder barrels in the powder room. I need you to board the ship and secure the persons before the ninjas do. They will be distracted looking for the cargo. If you can move carefully, you will be able to sneak past some of them. Here is a little insurance. You got the bomb. Rubo hands you a larger bomb. This item will not show up in your inventory. Thanks. If we can't have those water breathing potions, no one will. Get moving, matey. Okay. Got some ninjas. I like how he said sneak, try and stop. Fuck. He said try and sneak past them. But how do you sneak past the ninja? Are ninjas very perceptive? And would generally be quite hard to sneak past. Wait a sec. Why is none of this equipped? Oh, I know why. It's because he battled that fucking titan to save the limb crest. God damn it. These ninjas are quite strong, but there is a healing lamp right here. Awesome. Strange light of this lantern seems to require strength. Very weird. Oh, it's a healing pad. Oh, never mind. I can't really reach it. Oh, there you go. Yay, healing pad. Who are you, my friend? Shadow Jordan. Shadow Jordan. <laughs> Can you imagine if he's just called Jordan? Hello, friend. My name is Jordan. But you can call me Shadow Jordan. Ow. What the fuck, bro? You just killed me. Anyway, here's Jordan's key. You found the powder room key. You found Jordan's key. He won't be needing this anymore. Because... He's dead. Here we go. Right, we made it to the powder room. What could happen in here? The powder room is now unlocked. The cargo is safe. You made it past the army of ninjas, and the shipment of water breathing potions hidden in these barrels has been saved. Now head back to Osprey Cove and inform your victory to Rhubarb. That's exactly what it said. Well done. You really showed those ninjas what it happens. What happens? But what it happens when they try to steal our stolen goods? We should make enough gold from these sales of this water we the persons that we can all retire. Why do you look so troubled, Minert? Have you forgotten some Minert? What did you do with the bomb that I gave you? Kaboom. <laughs> Never mind. I think I can guess. I <laughs> left it on the boat. Ah, uh, Now. Not only do we not have the potions to sell, but that with all the water breathing potions in the ocean, no one will need water breathing potions ever again. They can just, just breathe the ocean. Deep breath. Oh well, at least the ninjas didn't get them either. I'll just tell Captain Blackberry that they blew up the ship. I'll save you from the captain's wrath this time. It'll be if you blow up one more ship, so help me. I'll sell you out faster than you can spit on a sea cow. You owe me, Midnight. 
You have to wait for me for a long time to pay off those potions and that ship. Let's get back to the work, work then. Swab. He's not very happy. You saved the ship from the ninjas, only to have the whole adventure literally blow up in your face. Rupa has decided to save you from the crowd to Blackberry this time. But now you are home. I don't think you're really saving from a ship. From a ship? From a pirate. I don't, I'm not really scared of a pirate. First mate's hat. This spiffy hat is preserved, preferred by swashbucklers everywhere. Strength plus three. I don't think that's as good as my stupid hat. But it may be. Um, yeah, I would say it's better actually. I'd rather the strength. <laughs> it doesn't really look better, but oh well. Alright, so we're going to begin to do the Pirates vs Ninjas War. The Pirates and the Ninjas are at war. The Pirates are missing their Wind Pearl, and the Ninjas are missing their Jewel of the Four Winds, and they're blaming each other. Which side will you take? Will you support in the Pirates vs the Ninjas War? Who will you support? Guess who I'm supporting? Bo. The first Pirate vs Ninjas War. Sheriff Island has exploded into a full blown war between the pirates and the ninjas. Choose which side you want to fight for. Each way of the defeat will bring that side closer to victory. The boss of the war depends on which side wins the war first. So let's go do. I'm not really going to speak. I don't really want to. So battle for the pirates. Oh, we got a rare wave. I'm fine with that. Wow. Oh, oh fuck, it's a big monkey or whatever, oh fuck it only is a big monkey. So it's just taller than I am. Super monkey. Level 15 beast. Nice. Big monkey. I will rename you the Giga Monkey. Because that would imply that you are a very large monkey. Attack of the ninjas. You've defeated this wave of ninjas. Well, no, a Giga Monkey. But more and more keep jumping out of the shadows to attack. How long do you think you can hold them off? I can kill many a ninja and giga monkeys. Alright, so a battle for the ninjas. We're supporting both sides because I can't make up my mind. I'm like, no, nah, I want to fight for the pirates. And then like, when I do a wave, I'm like, oh, I feel bad now. I'll just kill the ninja. And then I'm like, oh, I'll kill a pirate just uh like balance things out i can't make up my mind he, he just fell over and hit me kind of rude buccaneer you are a strong pirate indeed my friend too bad you're still gonna get your dick slapped by midnight the ultimate dick slapping man on the planet and his dragon Dick Slapping Junior Mini Midnight Mini Dick Slapping Midnight Dragon Junior That's his full name. I like how that when you hit him he spins around. It's like <laughs> and I just found that funny for some reason. You have defeated this wolf wave wolf wave of pirates, but more and more keep pouring out of the sea to attack. How long do you think you can hold them off? Forever. I'm not even gonna heal, that's why I'm I'm so confident. How the pirates got fucked. Wait, yeah, and people like ninjas more than pirates, don't they? This is a special quest, but I can't be bothered. It's like pointless. The ninjas of the Shadow of the Wind clan have defeated the pirates of Osprey Cove. The pirates have released a beast that they made entirely out of their hard earned pirate booty. A treasure golem. The leader of each faction would like to speak to you. Or click the button below to go to directly to the battle. Kinda weird, I wonder what the ninja's boss fight would have been. Eh, uh, I guess we'll never know. Alright, let's look at battle the treasure golem. I can't be bothered to speak to them. <laughs> Not really that important. Right, wait, oh, I slipped. What do you like? Poison minus 20. Wait, is that a weapon disease or poison? I just thought about it. Disease. I thought it was, but I just got confused there for a sec. He has a thousand HP. He's a pretty tanky one, isn't he? 
He had a really high aim ability resistance, but my dragon got him. I guess my dragon's stun ability does go through immobility, like it does minus 33. So it's technically like a 47 immobility resist he has when hit with the dragons. Kind of. And there she goes. Never mind. And there she goes. 162 XP. I thought I would have got a little bit more for that. Right, we can. Oh, it's these things again. Right, so we get something different this time. We have the level 20. No, they're quite expensive for gold. I want to save as much as I can till later. So fuck it. You defeated the treasure golem and saved the shadow of the wind village. And the best part is that when the golem fell apart, he turned into a pile of king treasure. It's a pirate booty buffet. Even though he dropped seven gold. I'm gonna get that little bit more strength. Because I am the best. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this video here. So next time, we're gonna be getting in properly to the Wind Orb questline. Which follows on just after the war. So we got Pirate or Ninja. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.